Welcome everyone to the first official Bone Cloud show match. After many episodes of practicing and perfecting my Bone Cloud, I decided it was time to put it on the test. I invited Vindicta, an NA pro gamer. He's been top eight before in the NA circuit. You guys may know him from one of my POV analysis videos, one of the fastest players in NA. I invited him to face off against me in a Bone Cloud show match. Uh, if he gets, if he wins, he get money. I'll pay him fifty bucks. Uh, I really don't want to lose this one. Let's do it. All right, here we go, team. The first high-level Bone Cloud match ever played. I'm very, very curious about how this one is gonna go. To be honest, uh, also a little bit nervous. To be honest, because I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm not a huge YouTuber. For me to lose fifty bucks is actually kind of a big deal. So uh, I'm actually gonna give it my all. And also, <laughs> and also, just so you guys know, I am totally up to take challenges from you guys as well in the future. Uh, if I if I lose, or rather if I win, I will give more money for the next challenger as well. And if you guys, obviously, I would only 1v1 other pro gamers, but if you guys think you and your gold buddies, you and your plat buddies would make for a fair challenge to me in a bone cloud battle, I would totally accept that challenge as well. If you do have a proposition, leave it down in the comments below. And if you don't, enjoy the show. Obviously, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Now, let's see if we can beat Vindicta over here in a bone cloud off. And th the thing is, so far the high... I actually did play a pretty high MMR Terran the other day. Uh, he was 5.8, which is still a little bit worse than Vindicta. But I kind of got the feel of what that was like. But obviously, I have no idea what it's like to play against someone who is also bone clouding. Uh, stuff like tank drops and everything behind the mineral line could be extremely awkward to deal with. My SCP scout timing is going to be insane. Uh, like, this first game is really going to be a test. Oh, in case I haven't mentioned it, by the way, this is going to be a best of three. So, first to two map wins takes the series home. Okay, so what I'm thinking here, guys, since we're both equally behind, maybe I can just emulate a normal game scouting timing? So if I scout at 17, would that be in time or would that be a horrible timing? I guess we will find out. Now, obviously, I know he has to bone cloud as well. Uh, that's the entire point of the show match. But I can go directly to his third base. Though technically, he would also be allowed to fly to his natural. I just really like the third base version the most. Let's see what we're going to find here. I, I imagine he would also play a double gas. This actually does open up possibilities, by the way, to maybe potentially play. Uh, single gas openers because my opponent's also bone clouding, right? So maybe I could get away with uh, actually playing Reaper expand or something like that. I'm actually gonna send my first Reaper across. Like th this game should be completely different from what you guys have seen so far because uh, now I can actually move out with my units because my opponent has the same amount of units, right? At the same time. I'm gonna kill the first SUV, that's really nice. He did get a hit off on my Reaper. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll have to be careful with that. I'm actually going to expand it here. YOLO. Why not? Let's see. Oh, there's a factory here. I can totally do some damage here. Right, this is good damage so far, actually. Okay. Now, uh, second Reaper is going to pop. I think we should probably back off for now. I can actually go again with my uh, second Reaper. Let's see. I'm actually going to go for a heli in here. I do not want to lose um, to a Reaper attacking my base at the same time. Now his Hellion is also going to pop a bit later than mine, looks like. See? Okay, we're going to trade off here. I'm actually fine with that. Starport. Now, what position can we abuse? Should I maybe try to go for a tank drop myself? I haven't been doing it, obviously, in the Bone Cloud show match or the Bone Cloud episodes yet. But now I actually do have new options. So maybe I could go for a tank drop. For now, I'm just going to try to go for a Cyclone. And not make... Can I make marines? No, I want to make the cyclone first. Let's see. This starper is going to die. That's really nice. He's actually attacking me at the same time, looks like. Okay, I'm going to do something you can only do against the bone cloud. <laughs> go above his main. All right. I'm going to draw his heli in here. So I can go in. Exactly. Yeah, so far, this is going pretty well, I think. Let's see. One SUV is going to go down there. Second SUV is going to go down. Very nice. Obviously, I can escape with this. Because I am in free space. So like so far I'm actually using the angles and everything very well. <laughs> Don't lose that when you say that, please. Okay. Oh no. Uh, well, I can actually take this watch. This watchtower is pretty sick. Look at this position I have. I see the entire left side of the map, basically. This is crazy. I'm gonna delay that uh, tank a little bit though for my raven. I feel like my raven is more important. 
You go back to mine. I'm pretty sure he was also going for a cyclone. I should keep that in mind when walking around on the map. He also does have two reapers and I don't. Okay. This is going to be a little bit tricky here. I'm going to come from, from behind, which could be huge. I think this is going to be huge, actually. Oh, look at that. I got the lock onto the Cyclone. He didn't. This is actually massive. I can out-micro this any day. There we go. I do need a depot, though. I can't be messing this up right now. Alrighty. Second Raven. <laughs> Man, I'm getting supply blocks so much more than I should. Just uh, believe it or not, guys, I'm not used to these timings. Even after uh, bone clouding for, what is it, 35 games at this point. So I feel like we have gotten a decent lead so far. What oh, is a Banshee. Oh, that's a good catch by me. Let's go. I mean, it, it's lucky, but still a good catch. Let's see. Can't let it die. Oh, the micro is perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I think I have a really good opportunity to go for a tank push now. But keep in mind, if I get a position here, he might honestly just be screwed. Or maybe I can go for a multi prong, Or would that be insane? Oh, there's something behind my base. Okay. Those are good. Oh, these are really good moves by him. Credit where credit's due. Gonna have to use my Cyclone for that. Oh, maybe I can catch one? No. Okay. Oh, he scanned, but he was a little bit too late. But he's actually playing Banshees. All right, then. I thought it was honestly just a single Banshee he was playing. Okay, this is getting a little bit more tricky than I thought. I had a really good start, but now... Uh, it is definitely getting a little bit rougher. That means he may, might actually have Cloak. Yeah. I wasn't expecting Cloak, but... If he made a second Banshee... That does make it quite likely that there is Cloak. But maybe he doesn't have a Siege Tank and I can abuse that. Let's see. Or gas over here. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna move back with that. Please don't lose the tank. I did lose the tank, unfortunately. Okay, I got that Banshee on lockdown. That's very nice. Oh, I can shoot that Cyclone, maybe? Oh, yes, I got this tank. Let's go. Oh, didn't even take a hit. Banshee, too? No, the scan ran out. Are you kidding me? What a terrible timing there for that scan to run out. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. So he probably has even more. Why is there a depot there? What? How did I just know? <laughs> what the hell? Why is there a depot there of all the places? Okay. Oh, I have my Cyclone here. Oh, that's close. Okay. Don't tell me there's a base there. I wouldn't... Oh, my, what on earth? This is the Bone Cloud Extreme at this point. What the hell? Ah, right, man, we have too many units here. We got it. Let's go. Game number one goes to the Bone Cloud Master. <laughs> I'm like, wow, what the hell was that base, bro? <laughs> He knows. He knows he was being crazy. It's the Bone Cloud 2.0, he says. All right. I mean, we'll, we'll see if he's if he's speaking the truth. We'll see in the results. Bone Cloud! All right. Game number two in Pride of Altaris, guys. This is going to be a very tricky map. I think, actually, I mostly won the last game based off the start. Because he had some really good moves at the end. I feel like he was picking off a lot of my units and stuff with the Cyclones. I just think he started rough. So now, after he has played it for one game, I feel like he's probably going to play a little bit better this time. Uh, and it should be more difficult for sure. I didn't see if he actually plays the depot on the on the spot I always place it. Because at this point, I'm pretty sure that is the correct spot to place it on. Let's see here. Pride of Altaris. You could actually fly... Like, you know what I'm thinking right now, guys? Flying to the gold sucks, right? I think we established that in one of the previous episodes of the Bone Cloud. But... Does flying to the gold suck when you're playing against the Bone Cloud? Probably not, right? Because your opponent is so delayed, you're only delayed a little bit more, and you get the gold. So maybe flying to the gold is actually the counter to the Bone Cloud. The gold Bone Cloud, if you will. And should I take it as my natural or not? That's what I'm thinking about. I really like this as my natural as well. Mm. But the gold is so tempting though, isn't it guys? I bet you guys would all love me to take this as my natural. And this is my third. I know some of you were thinking it. Don't lie to me. I know you were. Yeah, this time I'm definitely going to SCV scout. Because I, I do believe there's a realistic chance he did fly to the gold. I did make sure to tell him it was allowed to fly to the gold. Because, uh, you know, 
you always see me fly to the third. You might think it's not in the rules, but you're actually totally allowed to fly to the gold here. I'm gonna go with the same SCV scout timing. I would actually like to maybe try a tank drop or something. I just, I just feel like I lack the minerals to properly execute that. Like I, I already struggle making my first Reaper, for example. Yeah, let's see, gold or not? Moment of truth. No gold. All right. I, I bet he might also be taking it as his natural. The so his base is here. Looks like I'm actually slightly ahead in the timings. My orbital is uh, a little bit faster. Unless that means he's doing something sneaky. What if he has a barracks proxy? Obviously proxies are allowed, guys. As long as you do the bomb cloud, you can actually proxy away. There is nothing wrong with that. I'm going to make a reactor. I know I, I might be being a little bit crazy. But... Yeah, okay, now I'm actually getting scared. I, I just did like a little bit of math in my head <laughs> to determine when his second Reaper would arrive, and now I am getting a little bit scared. Not gonna lie. Maybe I can get some scouting info from the high ground. Let's see. I think I might just. No, I'm actually gonna take the gold. Frick it, guys. I am taking the gold here. There's nothing you guys can say about it. Not even. Mark, the last time you took the gold, you got absolutely annihilated. Not even that can stop me this time. Not even. Not enough minerals. Right. Not enough minerals. Now, it seems like a good time to go in. I have to put my Reaper back a little in case he attacks me with two. Oh, he actually copied me. All right. I, I, I can dig that, to be honest. This is basically, I feel like he's admitting that I'm the Bone Cloud Master, you know. I, I can totally live with that, guys. Wait, is he also taking the gold? I swear, if he also, maybe he's not copying me if he's taking the gold because he hasn't scouted mine. Then his brain would just be enormous. Which it is, probably. Okay, starboard time. Now I'm gonna camp here at the watchtower. And maybe if he moves across, I could actually sneak up on his units. Oh, wow, he's actually a little bit faster than me. Ah, uh, wow. Okay, he was very aware of that. I, I, I legit felt like I was about to win the game, but he was very fast on that reaction. Let's see if he's taking the gold. He is taking the gold. Now, he is doing the same opener as me, so... I cannot really risk going in yet. When I get my next units though, I would actually be able to go for it. And then that, that trade might honestly decide the game, unless it's very close. Okay, I'm gonna move five SCVs over. It seems like an appropriate amount. We should have eight units against eight units, I believe. So let's see how well I can micro this. Oh, oh this is scary. I, I really do not want to fight while I'm attacking the command center on accident, you know. But I can deny this for a bit, which is nice. Let's see. Obviously, I cannot allow him to uh, cross me. Okay, that's a Reaper. Oh no, I didn't even kill the Reaper. No way. How did that live? Okay. okay, now he believes I'm here, and now I'm gonna go back around. That's the plan. Like, my goal is a little bit faster now, which is super nice. I'm gonna get a little bit supply block as per usual. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same supply block as I had last game, actually. Guess I never learned. Man, this is this is definitely the most interesting bone cloud game uh, I've had in a while. The the, the cloud bone, the the delayed bone cloud gold strat. Now, I do have a cyclone here. Do you think maybe I can put in some pressure? Okay. I have a cyclone, but he also probably has one at this point. Oh, he has a tank, okay. Now oh, he sieged it. And now it gets a little bit scary. But now, I'm gonna go for the pro- Oh no, that's Cam. I was just about to run my Reapers into his freaking, uh... Main. To kill his main from behind, but then he scammed me. This is so funny how I just have, like, complete map control by just being here. Oh no, I was rallying everything to my gold. Ooh, okay. That's a good move by him. I, I did accidentally F2 my uh, tank back, which sucks. Oh, this is a really good move. We killed so much stuff here. Okay. Not paying attention yet, though. Good moves with the SUVs by him. I think I'm dealing with this alright, considering the situation. I'm losing even more SUVs, though. Man, this move was really killer by him, not gonna lie. See? Yeah, he's gonna siege his tank there. Smart move. Alright. Now, my third base is relatively uncontested here. Ah, no! Ouch. Okay. We got a flanking tank that should be able to take care of these Reapers, I think. 
And now I think I can actually push on the front. He has one tank here. Which means that... He is going to have one tank less at the front. I have my two ravens. Let's see if I can get in here. Uh, I probably can. I don't want to risk it though, to be honest. I feel like I'm kind of vibing right now as it is. I'm actually going to go around all the way. Like to his uh, right flank, I guess you could call it. It's a, li it's a little bit dangerous because... he could Like in this position, you can always attack through the middle, right? He might not actually see... The oh, that's a medevac! That's a medevac! I want that medevac so bad. I'm gonna freeze it. There we go. Absolutely lock down. Wrap him up. <laughs> we got him, boys. Absolutely ruined. Happens to the best. Just a, some, oh, he's actually gonna go for the counter attack. Okay, this is... Now we're going nuts. He's, okay, wait. Watch this, guys. I'm gonna distract him. And then... I'm gonna move in these Reapers. Maybe he won't react to it. Wow, okay, never mind. He has 500 APM apparently. That is uh, a little bit too much APM. But uh, I guess we just have to live with it. Okay, man, this game has actually devolved into a big chaos. I'm kind of panicking all over the place here. Where do I make my eBay's? There? Like, what is this? Okay. I'm gonna go up here then. I can actually siege this gold from up. No, 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 no. Hell no. The absolute psychopath. Can I drop a turret there? Okay, this looks pretty good to me. There's actually gonna be a bit of a rough attack here. I think I have enough SUVs to swarm this. If we're being honest. Oh fuck. Okay, that's a good matrix there though. SUVs are gonna be numerous enough to deal with that. And I think we are getting closer and closer to a victory here. This position does seem kind of undefendable. Go. Please go here. And we did it! The first Bomb Cloud show match ever goes to me. Well, I feel weird praising myself like that. We won, guys. Good job. That's it. Time to go home. Just kidding. I actually want to hear some from Vindicta. I want to know what he thought about the matches. What he thought about uh, playing the Bomb Cloud, you know. <laughs> I see this is already a little bit of a sum up of his thoughts. Uh, but yeah, this was fantastic. Let's get Vindicta on. Hello? You're toxic. You're toxic. Why, why am I toxic? <laughs> Bro, my medevac flew into a cyclops and a raven. Oh my god. But that's, that, was just, that was just planned. Like, I saw it coming all along. It was just... Like, I'm a Bone Cloud Master. I saw it coming ages ago. I was about to say that Bone Cloud Master strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, how, how did you feel about the games? Like, did you... Did it feel worse or, like, better than you expected to start with the Bone Cloud? No, it feels worse. It, it actually is way worse than it looks. Like, yeah. When I would watch the videos, I, was uh -huh. like, I mean, this is like too bad. Like you kind of just do the same. Like you still play standard, but you just lose some mining time. Uh -huh. But it feels so weird, dude. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm just infinitely behind. Uh huh. As soon as the game starts. Yeah, I, I actually calculated, and you're about in the early game. You're already four SCVs down, and your first Reaper is about ten seconds delayed. Um, so bad, dude. Yeah. I don't know but, how you play like that. <laughs> but Bone Cloud against Bone Cloud gets really fun. Like this is actually so interesting because, like, you know, normally. You have to sit at home with your one Reaper, right? But if you play Bone Cloud versus Bone Cloud, you, you can actually go out with your first Reaper because it's like a normal game in a yeah, sense. Yeah, like it's even still. Uh -huh. Yeah, like it's even, but all the timings are off. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't exactly. know. I felt naked. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> like, and, like, in, in the first game, you actually started quite poorly. Like, I got all the trades. But at some point, you started making some really good moves that kind of fit with the Bone Cloud. Like, you jumped into my main with the Reapers, killed my SCVs, your Cyclones were picking things off. Uh, it would have been sick to see how that game went with your hidden expansions and stuff. If, uh, yeah, you, you didn't die early on, basically. But, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> but just didn't get obliterated. <laughs> Everything get absolutely obliterated. <laughs> Alright, well, you missed out on your 50 bucks this time. But uh, maybe after some practice we can get you back on. What do you think? Would you be down for another Bone Cloud show match? I'm down, but I'm gonna need some Bone Cloud practice now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should. Who, should. who should I invite next, do you think? I could also do something like play against like two diamonds or two platinums or something. What would you suggest? Two diamonds? I, that would be pretty sick to see. I don't know if you could do that. <laughs> yeah. Two diamonds would be sick to see. But yeah. player? Damn, I don't know actually. Uh huh. Maybe a big name would be funny. Would be fun. Yeah, yeah. We should get yeah. Maru on. What do you guys think? We should get Maru on for sure. Yeah, we should yeah. get Maru on. Yeah, you know the thing is, like in one v one, I can totally beat two diamonds, right? But if you do a bone cloud. I don't have like access to like a wall and stuff like that, you know? So uh, yeah. that would be pretty sketch.
But all right. Thank you for playing, Mix. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to sub and like. Give a sub to Vindicta's channel as well. I'll link it in the description. And uh, see you guys next time. Adios.